David, there was a point where you had I think, 10 of the team's 12 points at their last five field goals, and most of them from the mid-range. Was that part partially to break the zone without having to go outside and hit threes? For um, we kind of knew when uh, NJ was in the game, when they were in the zone, that he was going to sit back, and so that was one of the things we talked about. We have to be able to hit that mid-range jumper, but um, I had a couple, and they just kept giving me the ball, and you know, Justin could just as e easily have pulled that jumper, or Ty, or Ricky, or even Rich. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whoever makes a shot, that's that's all we're looking for. But um, they just kept giving me the ball, and just glad I was making them. Hey, David, Coach always describes you, or he has previously described you as being a reluctant offensive player. Do you feel like you're kind of shedding that? Yeah, I've been working on that because he's been telling me that too, not just not just you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just I'm trying to be more. Because I'm one of those guys, I don't really care if I score. I just want the team to win. Like, if I don't get those shots or if I pass somebody else and they, they hit the jumper, I'm just as happy for them. I don't really, it's not that big of a deal to me. But coach is making a point to tell me where I've got to take that shot because I can make that shot just as easily as anybody else. So uh, I'm just getting that mindset in. And I'm, I mean, if they pass me the ball, I'm more than happy to shoot it. But I don't really, it, the, it's not about the points. Do you feel like you're more comfortable being somewhat more aggressive on offense? Yeah, yeah. It has to be nice though for you to see your shot go in, and, and yeah. it could be, you know, had like five or six in a row there, and the it just kept falling. Yeah, yeah, been yeah. working, been working on it, and you know it's nice yeah. when they start falling. It's uh, it's really nice. Dan, what was it like to have Richard back tonight? It's great to have Rich. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love playing with Rich, my partner in crime over here. He, it's because I mean if I get beat, I always know he's right there. I mean today is a little different because you know NJ's. He had his hands full. You know, that guy, he posts up, he, he's got his arms right on your face. You know, he's, yeah. you're looking right into his chest. But, you know, it's nice having Rich back because he's such a great defender. And, you know, he takes pressure off of, the, like, the perimeter shooters because of what he can do inside. He's got a great technical game down low. He's got some good moves down low and takes pressure off of uh, our perimeter players so they can get open. And it's great to have Rich back. How do you think you guys would have done uh, in Maui with Richard for all, all oh, I think games. I think we've done great. I think we've done great. Does it make the championship game? Or? I mean, I don't, I don't know what we would have done. I think but, we would have won a tournament, honestly. Yeah. 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 But, you know, we we had to deal with a, a setback in Maui, and, you know, all we could do is come out with heart, and I think we competed with heart against Syracuse, and uh, I think uh, yeah. we tried against Dayton. I think we were a little gas, but... Um, uh, I was really proud of the team uh, trying to step up against Syracuse and uh, playing hard against Satan. But obviously missing Rich was a huge loss because, you know, you miss a guy that's got a double-double, averaging two blocks a game, and just knows what he's doing, a senior leader. That's going to affect your team. Guys, first half shooting was a little bit, a little bit off. What did Montgomery tell you at the half? And how did, I know you, you came up flying in the second half, but overall the team did too. Shooting the ball better, playing a little more sound basketball. What was the mindset going into the second? What do you want me to get? We were just talking about ball movement. We were getting a little stagnant on offense, and uh, I think that was evident when they made a big push at the beginning. Um, we were just kind of passing the ball around. We we're really penetrating, and so uh, at halftime, coach was talking about really making their defense move and getting some inside-outside shots and making their defense move around so we get some open baskets and. That's what we did. We we made that adjustment. Richard, can you tell us a little bit more about what happened to your eyes? A corneal abrasion is a bruise or a scratch, or what is it? It's uh, basically a scratch on the eyeball or on your cornea. You know, uh, that. Did you have the, double vision or blurry vision for a while? Or? I mean, I couldn't see anything. I, I it, it was just really blurry. You know, uh, felt like something was permanently in my eye, so it hurt to like blink and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty bad. I could I couldn't really open my eye. If I could, I would have played. Uh, but, I mean, it's just nothing that you could do. You just got to kind of let it heal within a, a few days. How many days until it started feeling normal again? Um, I was good by Friday. But my vision was still a little blurry, but uh, it, it came back. And you were in the goggles all season because the doctor recommends or because you think it's just... Uh, because I don't want to get scratched in the eye again. <laughs> how, how are they? It's an adjustment, you know. I'm not really used to playing with protective eyewear on my face, but uh, it's an adjustment. And you you get used to them. Richard, you spent about 
half the game on the bench for whatever reason. It probably give you a little time to maybe sit back and appreciate the game of uh, Tyrone Wallace. I mean, his all-around play. What, uh, yeah. What's your impression of him as he? Uh, he, I think Tyrone, Tyrone had a great game. You know, uh, watching him develop has been a real treat for me. You know, I'm um, seeing the jump that he made from freshman year to sophomore year. You know, he's stronger, he's faster. You know, he's uh, worked on his jumper, his shot is better. You know, and he's just under, he's more under control now. You know, and he's doing everything, not just focused on scoring. He's rebounding the ball, had five assists tonight. You know, he's doing a little bit of everything. And, and that's what we need from Tyrone. You know, for us to be the best team that we could be, we need everybody doing, ma maximizing their abilities. And I think he's just starting to get into that.